Hello everyone, how are you doing today? We are going to evaluate this essay and then we'll see the, uh, the assessment criteria and how much marks this essay scores. There are lots of learnings that you're going to get. So just see the whole video and this will give you an idea of how to draft your thoughts while writing an essay. So the essay starts with saying that undeniably being a celebrity or famous personality is I would request you to just read the first paragraph and see if you can find some errors here. So we'll do it together. We will actually be uh, assessing it together and this will give you also a chance to see what kind of errors are there in writing. So I want you to just read the first paragraph and find out what corrections you suggest from the first paragraph and then we'll read it together. You can pause the video and read the first paragraph, which is the introduction, and then we'll go through it together. Great. So you might have read the first paragraph, and you might have find, found out, <clears throat> might have found some errors in the first paragraph. Now let's discuss them together. Undeniably, being a celebrity or famous personality is not an easy life. Okay, so this seems, seems like a simple first line and this goes for a good introduction and this is quite an idiomatic sentence and it's not a good not an easy life so you can always write these kind of expressions they have to sacrifice a lot in terms of money and personal space to be in limelight okay so she, limelight is in single quotes I see the closure of the single quote, but there is no opening of the single quote, which is, okay, I think the, the part which is deleted is actually the beginning of the single quote, so fine. I support that advantages outweigh the disadvantages. Of what? Now, see, this is an incomplete sentence. I support that advantages outweigh the disadvantages. You should write completely of being a celebrity, isn't it? But otherwise, this is oh, an incomplete sentence. Now you can read the three, four lines from the second paragraph, whatever you can see on the screen right now, and we'll discuss that together. Pause the video and then read it, and then we'll discuss it together. Okay. So on one hand, it is a blessing in disguise. So this is fine, but then this it is incorrect. After a comma, there's no need of writing something in uppercase. You're supposed to write it in lowercase. So it is a blessing in disguise for celebrities. There is an incorrect comma here. So there are lots of punctuation errors as I can see. Number one, it has to be in lowercase and this comma is incorrect. See, you, the thumb rule is you should put a comma only when you are pausing while speaking. So on one hand, I, we can see that we are pausing, but then after a comma, you are not supposed to put it in capitals. It should be in small case. On one hand, it is a blessing in disguise for celebrities to a role model for large section, to be a role model. Okay, yeah, to be a role model for large sections of population or few classes of people treat them as as few classes of people there is no need to say few classes of people or few class of people you can see as some people make it simple it is very very important to make your writing simple and precise it is a blessing in disguise for celebrities to be a role model for large sections of population as some people treat them as gods there is no need to say some class, few class of people. This is incorrect. Few class of people is incorrect. You should say some people. And below, two examples would, there is no need of and here. So this kind of conjunction is incorrect. The examples given below would support the same. Now there is nothing like below or above. Let us take two examples. Your, your language should be a little conversational as if you are talking to. So let us take two examples to substantiate uh, these views or the two examples here would substantiate this view. The first example is that of Mr. Rajni Kant, 
for whom a temper see you have to create opportunities for yourself to showcase your english it should not be very slangish or casual way of writing you have to use some sophisticated structures and you must practice some standard phrases for depicting different types of situations for example if you are giving an example then what could be the ways to give an example and there is an excel file which i have made which has got those collections those scenarios depicted in proper phrases so if you learn the those phrases it becomes very easy for you to depict your ideas now the way the example is given here is incorrect it's a very small thing but you end up losing marks there and below two examples would support the same now this is very slangish and very casual way of putting things across what you can say we can substantiate this view with some examples so this becomes you know you have created an opportunity for yourself even while giving examples you have used this word we can substantiate this view point with some cogent examples now see you have used two good words substantiate our views with some cogent examples cogent means very forceful or very convincing examples we can substantiate our views with some cogent examples so this is how vocabulary does play an important role in helping you to stand out helping you to showcase your knowledge of english and you know flexibility of using correct verbiage so we can substantiate our views by giving some uh, with the help of some cogent examples actors such as and you can structure it in a better way actors such as rajnikanth are adorned uh, and uh, are followed by large uh, group of followers yeah actors such as rajnikanth enjoy mass appeal they are even treated like gods you know so you can you can make it like that if you do not find the right way to 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 project your thoughts try paraphrasing so in your own mind if you speak the same thing in two three different ways you'll find the right way to project it so actors such as rajnikanth of south indian movies is <clears throat> has a mass uh, following yeah has a mass appeal full stop people even treat him like there is actually a temple where people uh, where an icon of mr rajnikanth is kept similarly sachin tendulkar the the famous cricket player uh, uh, commands uh, mass appeal so you know you 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 have to use uh, you you have to showcase your knowledge of vocabulary apart from that celebrities for their service getting good sum of money and few of them are some fond in the unpleasant of masses also upliftment what is this i mean see apart from that celebrities you have to use proper handwriting as you can see for their services celebrities for their services getting good so this is very casual writing you cannot afford to write like this seems i mean if the person loses interest you know <clears throat> another advantage of being a celebrity is that the uh, all these act uh, that they get huge sums of money that they earn a lot of money so make it simple apart from that celebrities for their services getting good what is this getting good so you have to make sure that whenever you are writing it should be appealing to quote an example cricketer ms dhoni was charitable runs a charitable trust for the betterment of widows why are you writing acha okay widows life now there is no just one widow there are many widows so there is a way to put apostrophe correct this also widows means widows apostrophe s widows 
after s you have to put an apostrophe if you are using a plural widows life or life of widows widows life mat boliye life of widows right lastly due to their profession demand profession demand they got the opportunities to travel to professional demand lastly uh, their profession gives them opportunities La- yeah simple bolo lastly they get opportunities to travel across the world to fulfill their professional <coughs> requirements which eventually enriches their knowledge enrich their knowledge nahi enriches their knowledge and connections on the other hand being a celebrities now see there's lots and lots of errors here of punctuation how can you say being a celebrities you have to say being a celebrity brings bring a celebrity brings lots of challenges also for an instance they could not go freely anywhere unless you have to put a comma here फ्रीली एनी वेयर कॉमा अनलेस एस्कॉटेड बाय देयर सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स इन एडिशन टू कॉन्शियस एफर्ट फॉर इमेज फॉर एवरी मोमेंट नाउ दिस इज नॉट अ प्रॉपर सेंटेंस इन एडिशन दे हैव टू मेक लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स टू बी इन द लाइम लाइट ऑल द टाइम इन एडिशन टू इज नॉट द राइट वे टू कनेक्ट i mean in addition to this uh, you have to give a reference to what you are adding or you can say simply in addition in addition they have to make a lot of efforts write it like this in addition they have to make lot of efforts to uh, maintain to to be in the limelight all the time they have to speak behave and look perfect as any slip can drastically impact their public image apart from that due to their profession demand not profession demand professional demand many celebrities follow unhealthy lifestyle which leads to various medical complications such as depression psychological disorders etc to quote an example actress sonali bendre suffered from very rare cancer form now this is not a very convincing example cancer can have can occur to anyone i mean anyone can suffer from cancer so that does not really sound very good you can simply say that many actors take drugs etc to manage stress you know to conclude given that a celebrity enjoys so many benefits i support the view that the share of blessings is bigger than the share of pains in a celebrity's life share of blessings share of their ha uh, so when you are saying blessings you have to say pains see this is idiomatic not one pain we are saying pains share of blessings is bigger than the share of pains in a celebrity's life so rest is fine but then you have to make it plural so there are few important things related to punctuation word choice examples that we quote most importantly the way you write examples i mean the way uh, an example is given you have to you know use those structures as we discussed we can substantiate this view or this view can be substantiated with some cogent examples actors such as, that would make a huge difference to your marks and eventually i mean we can we can scale up uh, on the band score so it is very important to use the correct verbiage we have to create opportunities for ourselves to showcase our flexibility of vocabulary grammatical structures and yeah we have to we can take it up very easily <clears throat>